fact that we're harvesting wheat in early July tells you that our wheat's been delayed overall by about seven to 10 days, pretty much across the entire state. That's Chad Lee, grain crop specialist and director of UK's lower, Grain and Forage uh, Center for Excellence in Western Kentucky. This wheat on one of UK's research farms in central Kentucky was harvested the week of July 6th, which is typically later than Western Kentucky, but the West Kentucky crop was late too. So the freeze really delayed harvest overall. It killed off, in many cases, it killed off the main tiller, the main shoot of the plant. We had secondary tillers that normally don't do anything, and this year they went ahead and produced heads, and that's where our yield came from. We had some cooler weather um, shortly after those freeze events, abnormally cool, and that was very, very helpful for the wheat and the small grains, but it's pushed it later into the season. Western Kentucky wheat yields are reportedly averaging 25% below normal as a result of the freezes and late harvest, but those yields vary with farmers reporting huge differences within the same field. That it just impacted the yield more than we anticipated. You know, in recent history, we've had a freeze this late to, to really give us an opportunity in Kentucky to get an estimate. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if we have to look at the silver lining here, at least now we have an estimate. Fields at the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center in Western Kentucky reflect the spotty freeze damage with one plot receiving damage while the other was left virtually untouched. Despite normal planting times and growing conditions throughout this past winter, much of the crop was about two weeks ahead when the freezes hit. The central Kentucky wheat was further delayed with daily rains the first week of July, which kept an already mature crop still in the field. As you know, it's a season when the economics aren't great to begin with, and you throw in what back in March and even early April was a phenomenal crop and then those two freeze events came in and took it from took it down to average and now down to where we think it's going to end up being below average when it's all said and done. Chad Lee said based on conversations with growers and county agents the central Kentucky crop was hurt worse by the freezes than western Kentucky. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.